Eosinophilic esophagitis and celiac disease or even gluten intolerance, they are quite distinct disorders. The common link between eosinophilic esophagitis and celiac disease is that they are both reactions to wheat, or they can be reactions to gluten or, or wheat. In other words, they're reactions to something that you're eating. So with celiac disease, it's an immune reaction to part of the wheat uh, molecule that's causing an immune reaction in the small intestine, but not the esophagus. So the reaction is happening in the uh, small intestine, but not the esophagus. With eosinophilic esophagitis, it's not just the wheat. Many times it's milk or other foods, uh, soy or milk or um, nuts or seafood or eggs that cause the reaction in the esophagus, but do not generally involve the stomach or small intestine. So the area that's involved in the GI tract is very distinct between celiac disease and eosinophilic esophagitis. The type of inflammation is very diff different. So with celiac disease, there are characteristic changes in the biopsies taken of the small intestine, Whereas eosinophilic esophagitis, we're seeing an allergic pattern of inflammation, these high eosinophil numbers in the esophagus, which is quite distinct than celiac disease. So again, the common link is really a reaction to food, but it's a very different reaction to food in terms of where the reaction is happening and the type of symptoms the patients get.